Welcome to my debate week, ladies and gentlemen. I wish to state ahead of time that I'm actually kind of sick. So, bear with me if I begin to cough. My throat's kind of messed up. This, review, this debate of the week is simple, straightforward. Can Dolph make it in the main event? Now, you guys know how I've talked about Dolph Ziggler before. I actually like Dolph. I know the Sleg Daddy does not like him too much. He reminds him too much of Jeff Jarrett to a certain extent. I see he doesn't talk about him that much in that respect, but I understand the reason why. But I state this for myself, knowing that Jeff Jarrett has a promoter, a dad as a promoter, that's one of the reasons why he got so well promoted. That's why he got so many times to championships. Dolph doesn't. Dolph started out in the Spirit Squad against DX. I've seen it, and I'm just going to give it like this. When I saw him in 2008 to 9, I didn't even remember he was part of the Spirit Squad. I saw him going against Kofi and against Rey Mysterio in the Cruiserweight Champion, Cruiserweight title scene when it was still there. And I'm going to say this. There are very few people that are left that has some ability to put people over. Now, I originally see Dolph, if he cannot make it in the main title, he could be easy a main event jobber. And I know people are going to say, dude, he can easily be the main event. Why the hell you call him a fucking jobber? This is the reason why. Back in the 70s, the 80s, into the 90s, and to a certain extent now, we still have enhancement matches. They're not very often, though. They're very far in between, but we still get enhancement jobber matches. It used to be very prolific back in the past. And that's how you got people over. When it comes to Dolph Ziggler, he has enough talent that he can put someone over in a good way. And that's the reason why I've always said Dolph should be in the main event. He should be allowed to have the title once in a while to be considered competitive to anyone that's in the main event. Like a John Cena, like a Randy Orton, like a, even a Triple H or Batista if he comes back. Like a Ryback. Like a, well, if you're going to be, let's say CM Punk came back. He could go against CM Punk. And Daniel Bryan, who hopefully will be back in 2015, he could go up against Dolph Ziggler. I see Dolph as an enhancement jobber, but in the main title scene. And that's not a bad place to be. You help get other people over. You get to be put in some decent storylines. You give up, well, you give up matches, but it doesn't mean you don't sometimes win the title. I believe that when there's some good jobbers in the main event, you really, when you give them a chance to be like um, transitional champions like a JBL, he was a great transitional champion. He knew how to make things work. He wasn't a great champion, but he was a great transitional champion. He helped a lot of people get over. He even helped John Cena to a point. Even if you don't like hearing it. So the way I see it, ladies and gentlemen, when it comes to John, to John Cena dealing with Adolf Zingler before this Raw, seeing that John Cena kind of helped Adolf Zingler to a certain extent, and seeing the authority is actually showing him, makes me think this. That by, after Survivor Series, they may actually have something for Dolph to do. That would explain the reason why he lost the IC Championship. I don't believe that they're going to go anywhere with it, but it's a possibility they may go somewhere with him. Maybe by TLC, we'll actually see him in a major storyline alongside a John Cena, alongside a Triple H, alongside what's going on with Seth Rollins. You never know. But I'll give it to you like this. This is what I think could happen. After Survivor Series, Dolph Ziggler, who's lost the title, tries to challenge a new Harper again for it. And he loses. But he loses dirty because the authority, counting on if they survive this or not, and I believe they should because if they drop it now, it's kind of stupid. Wait until WrestleMania. It would make some sense that Dolph would have a gripe with them because Luke won the title last week, which is yesterday. Seth Rollins screwed him over using the Money in the Bank briefcase to the head and he starts feuding with them. And that would make some good sense. Either feuding with a Luke Harper, which I think wouldn't happen because now Eric Rowan is involved, or feuding with a Seth Rollins, 
which I don't believe he's going to have that feud, but it's a possibility. And after the feud is over, he moves on to Kane. And after the feud is over, he moves on to Mark Henry. And after that, he moves on to Rusev. He doesn't go after the U.S. Championship, but he deals with him. He deals with everyone in third like a John Cena. Eventually, he gets his chance at a world title shot. And I know you're going to say, you actually think you're going to put him against Brock. No. But I believe by just stating it and setting it up for that, it would give some traction that people already want to cheer the fucker. No offense to Dolph Ziggler calling him a fucker, but you get my point. They want to cheer him. If he gets nailed and taken out of action for a couple of months, let it be a work. Then he comes back strong and he goes through the Royal Rumble and maybe he's at the end of the Royal Rumble, maybe the last three, or maybe he wins it. You would have something special. Now, does this mean Dolph Ziggler could really work in the main title scene? Like I've stated. It's going to count on how he actually can talk. In my pinky. And how he works with main events like a John Cena, Randy Orton, uh, Steph Rollins, a Dean Ambrose, or whoever. It doesn't matter. A Kane. A Mark Henry. You need to see if he can actually deal with people that way. And if he can... By 2015 WrestleMania, even if he's not in the marquee match for the title, he'll be so well over, people will cheer him and he'll bring people into the seats. But this is kind of like a guess because you never know what could happen with the WWE. They may just be setting him up to drop him by TLC. But to be honest, and I'm being honest here, you don't have Daniel Bryan WWE. CM Punk left. And I can understand the reasons why, no matter if you think he's a dick or not. I can understand the reasons why he left. He wasn't getting very far. You don't have Roland Reigns. He had a hernia problem. He had, a, he had uh, basically a hernia. You don't have Alberto Del Rio because you insulted the man and fired him. So many people that were in the main title, even if they were good or not good, they're not there anymore. So who do you have left? Who can you bring up that can actually do something? Not many people. You got to work with somebody. They're not bringing up Cesaro, which I believe they should have. Cesaro should have been there instead of Eric Rowan. They should have turned Cesaro face on them. Even with all that, it would have worked. But they didn't do that. So really, don't see only option they have. And even if he doesn't get over big in the main title scene, he can still be an enhanced jobber. He can still get people over. Sometimes he can win the championship title. And I believe that would be good because as a transitional champion, you can really help the company and help yourself. And bring up the next generation. And they really need it right now. And that's what we need. So I hope you enjoyed this debate of the week. Please give me a comment below. Tell me how you feel about Dolph Ziggler. Does he even have the right to be even be considered a jobber? I'm saying it. A main event jobber if he doesn't get anywhere. He has the ability to do it. But I want to know your feelings about it. You take care. Have a good day. Have a good night. Peace out.